The giant mills outside of Salt Lake City are the center of steel production in the West. My name is Pat Roach, and I work at the steel company in Orem. I'm a millwright apprentice. I should be a journeyman in another year or two. Pat is one of 5,000 employees at the steelworks. When she completes her training as a millwright apprentice, she will be the only woman licensed to make repairs on the heavy machinery. When the work whistle blows, Pat hurries home to her number one responsibility. She is the sole support of five young children. On October 16th, 1973, the normal flow of her life was dramatically altered. Pat recreates the events for In Search Of. It was about 8 o'clock in the evening. My little boy was four at the time. He climbed up beside me and he had his blanket with him and we fell asleep. Sometime between eight and midnight, something invaded the privacy of Pat's home. Her children, normally alert to strange sounds in the night, slept on, as if put in a deep trance. They would later believe that they were abducted during their sleep. child reported seeing something too strange to believe. Police Sergeant Ray Edwards answered Pat's call for help. He investigated the area, but could find no evidence of an attempted break-in. The following morning, Edwards filed an official report, leaving the case open. He dismissed the claim of Pat's six-year-old Deborah, who insisted the house had been invaded by spacemen. Nevertheless, for the Roach family, an unsettling mystery still hung over their household and was to persist for the next two years. UFO investigators believe victims suppress the memory of an abduction because they are programmed to do so. Researchers feel, however, that children stand a better chance than adults of resisting mind manipulation. I wouldn't have actually known what happened that night. I probably wouldn't have even investigated it at all if it hadn't been for the fact that two of my children were just positive that they were spacemen. I begin reading about UFOs and I begin looking at magazines that had stories about UFOs and seeing other people's experiences. And I thought, there must be more to it than what we know. And so I thought, well, the only way we'll find out any more is to go under hypnotism. Tell me more about the time. In order to recall the events, Pat contacted Dr. Jim Harder of APRO, the Aerial Phenomenon Research Organization. And I and two other members of APRO are in charge of the close encounter investigations. What I mean by that essentially are close encounters in which people have had a intimate contact with uh, what could only be called alien beings. 
I have talked with 30 or 40 people who've had such experiences. Now, in various degrees, I've been able to regress them through um, particular experiences. One, zero. Your whole body's feeling very heavy and relaxed, except that your left arm is beginning to feel The hypnosis enabled Pat to retrieve memories that she had long buried. I remember what the interior of the spaceship looked like. It seemed that the walls fell away as you went to the ceiling, and you could see the stars and everything. There was a TV scanner that would start at the top of my head and go all the way down and come back again. It was like an eye. I was examined by a man that was just an ordinary man. He was a little over six foot tall. So I was very upset because he came at me with a needle, a long needle, right here. I was angry with them because I didn't feel that they had any right to come into someone's home and take them. And what I was particularly upset with them about was that um, I didn't know where my children were. They know everything about us physically how to make us well and everything about how our body operates but they can't understand our um, emotions and our feelings and our idea ideas about things they don't understand us i don't believe that um, they really want me to go on tv and um, tell my story because uh, if it's happened to other people they might start putting the pieces together and realize that they've had the same experience